All right, so I started to get into this with a little bit of the Prismacolor. Uh, a couple of things I want to talk to you about is I've gone ahead and I've gone through all my Prismacolors and I've pulled out some of the pencils that I think I'm going to be using. A bunch of different browns and yellows and some greens and some of the different reds. And um, I'm going to use those. I'll probably have to be going back in and, and finding some other colors as I go along, but these are the ones I'm going to be using primarily to start off with. So I've already gone in and hit a couple of these places with Prisma, but I want to show you now how I'm doing this. Um, like this is that red onion. And I've come in with some purple and white and then I came back in with a little color called mulberry. And I'm kind of modifying that a little bit. Then I come back with the white. And I can begin to blend that out. If you remember from my demo in the class, I showed us how we can use the white as a good blending tool in here. And it keeps us from getting our pencil strokes showing up. Um, here in this pair, in the front, it's very, very white. So I'm going to, this is a good pencil sharpener. You want to have a, a really nice pencil sharpener. To keep your points. And I'm going to lay down some white. It's not a pure white on this pair. So it's picking up a little bit of pigment, and that's absolutely fine, what I want. So I'm laying this down. Maybe go all the way back here. When you do your pencil drawing, and this is why I did this sketch here, to kind of really work out my uh, composition. Because when you get onto your Bristol board, you don't want to have your pencil sh strokes too dark. If they're too dark on here, it's going to get into the prisma, and it's going to be really hard to get rid of those black lines, and everything's going to look kind of outlined. So you don't want that. So I'm drawing on my, on my Bristol as lightly as I can, so I can just barely see it. That's enough of a guide for me. All right, I'm always keeping my reference, my photo reference close so I can be referring to that constantly as I'm doing my drawing. Come back in and I'm blending some of this, these dark areas out. And you really want to build up your, um, your values kind of slowly. So I'm going to come back in here with a little bit of an olive green. You can see where it's really dark up here along the edge of this pear. And right up to that onion. So I'll build this tone up in here. It gets really dark where the onion comes up right up to the edge of the bowl. So I'll build up some darks here. Come back with my white. knock that back a little bit. I can always make it darker. So I want to try to build that up a little bit slowly. And there's also, you'll see some on here, some some really nice, really beautiful crumbles of blue cheese in this salad that are hitting on along, like along this spinach leaf and along this onion. I'm not going to worry too much about those right now. I'm going to show you how to go back and add those super bright highlights into this piece as we get further along. So I'm just laying down some tone here. Blend this in. Now another way to draw with your prismas 
if you don't want any of these pencil strokes and you're not doing this heavy blending style is to draw with little little tiny circles and I think I talked about that last time too right so if I want to build up tone here I can draw with little tiny circles with my pencil and I don't end up with any pencil strokes you just get a really super fine gradation happening this way And one thing I learned with my camera here is that I cannot do really super long videos. So there's going to be a whole bunch of short little things, five or six minute long. But I'll give you all the links and you can just thread them all together as you're going. Okay. Here it's really dark. If we sit, look in the photograph, we can see how, just how dark this is here. And that really helps establish also that porcelain bowl edge beautifully. So I'll build that up. Maybe smooth it out a little bit. Now it's not here, it's not like a pure green, even though it's spinach underneath there. It's not a pure green. It's got a little bit of brown in it. So I might come back in with maybe an olive green. Just a warmer green. And then maybe even, let's see, some brown. You can add some brown into this. And the greens and the browns are all going to work together and keep that looking really, really natural. It's going to brown up in here too. So I'll add some of that. Maybe even a little bit of brown into the onion as it goes back underneath this leaf here. Now this leaf is really really light. I might come with a very very light green. Start to put that down. And blend that back with my white. All right, so I will be back in just a minute and show us a little bit further.